my first time getting in a film festival was, let's see, after college, I was working at a advertising agency. And um, my boss at the time was saying, you need to shoot more, you need to shoot more. I think it'd be good if you made more short films. I didn't really want to hear that at the time because I had shot so many short films in college uh, that I didn't want to do anymore. But, you know, I didn't really, I didn't have anything that I submitted to any festivals at that point. So I thought, okay, well, I guess I'll do something new. So I ended up shooting this short film called Rosemary. And um, it's about, I don't know, six, seven minutes long. And um, I ended up going to a place called Film Freeway. Um, Rosemary was a motorcycle film. It was, there was no dialogue. You know, I only had one camera. So I thought, what can I do with, you know, very low budget, (laughs) no budget, a couple actors, a motorcycle. I had a motorcycle and, um, you know, some locations. So we did shot like at some places in where I knew, like around in Pasadena and the alleyways and stuff like that. And we shot out in the desert one day. So anyway, so there's a cool, there's a kind of a crazy story on our, one of our last days of shooting, we were out in the desert and these guys came from San Diego, who had a drone, a big quadcopter drone. It was one of the ones with multiple blades on it, and it flew way up high in the sky as the sun was setting. We we're trying to get the last shot, and one of the propellers snapped and broke, and it fell all the way down to the ground and exploded. And somehow they managed to have the right tools to fix the propeller and get it back up in the air again. Um, and we got the shot. So, whew, man, that was, that's a very, uh, that's filmmaking in a nutshell, basically. Anytime you plan something, it's always going to go wrong. But after making so many films, you get used to it. So anyway, the film's called Rosemary. It got in, um, I got it into the Motorcycle Film Festival in Brooklyn, New York. And um, the great thing about film festivals is you can meet a lot of people and you might not necessarily win or you might not get any money or anything like that, but it's a really, really great place to scout talent. So if you're looking for collaborators, if you're looking for editors or other cinematographers or other directors, producers, screenwriters, it's a really wonderful place to go and to see what other work is out there and try to find some like-minded people so um, the second film festival I got well, my my film Rosemary in was in Beverly Hills. Uh, there's a there's one called the Beverly Hills Film Festival, and um, it was playing in the Chinese Theater in Hollywood. So that was cool. My parents showed up for that one, and um, you know we had I think we had a little Q and A and stuff like that. So again, I met some more interesting people. But it didn't really, you know, short films don't lead to any distribution deals or anything like that, typically. Maybe in the olden days, but not not so much anymore. There's there's so many feature films that show up. Like in Sundance, I think they had over 10,000 films last year that were submitted. And these are feature films or just films in general. That's a lot. So I decided, you know, um, I'm just going to keep going and and uh try to make a feature next because if i waste my time with these short films it's not really going to get me anywhere so as the time went by i eventually um you know i kept working on other people's films independent films and i got to the point where i got really tired of working on films that were crap (laughs) and uh i remember being on some so many terrible films that producers had no idea what they were doing the script was written really quickly and it was bad and so I thought man you know what I can I think I can make a feature film without any budget one camera kind of like basically like Rosemary but a whole feature film like a 90 minute movie so I'll save that for the next episode but um 
eventually I got that into, after two years of submitting to festivals, I finally got my feature film, Love Dream, into the uh, Los Angeles, um, I think it's called, <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Uh, sh- let me check, uh, let me see. IFS, International Film Showcase. Uh, IFS, Film Festival. Yeah, that's what it's called. So I had, so just a warning to you guys, if you want to shoot a film and you want to put it in festivals, it's really hard to get in, first of all, because there's literally thousands and thousands of people submitting from all over the world. It doesn't matter if it's a short film or a feature film. There are thousands and thousands of people submitting. So um, if you have persistence like me and you can, and you shoot a feature film and it, and you have patience to wait for two years, that's what I did. Uh, it took two years. I submitted to Sundance. I submitted to Cannes, to Telluride, you know, like all the international film festivals, Berlin, every everything for two years in a row. And I never got it into anything finally except for the second time. So um, pers- there's somebody, one of my friends told me, said, if you want to make it in the film industry, you just need stamina because it's sort of like a boxing match. Like whoever's standing, you're going to get hit in the face so many times, so hard. <laughs> but if you can withstand all the blows longer than any- anybody else and you're still standing and bloody and bruised, then you'll make it. So uh, that's how the film festival circuit's been. Um, and distribution is a whole nother topic. So we'll get into that in another video. But uh, film festivals are great for submitting and they are great for meeting people but don't cross your fingers and hope that you're going to get a deal because that's typically not how it goes so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video